YouTube. This is Donna from Dare to Be Creative, and today I have a little share, project share, and this is in response to the series, but fun. She's celebrating her crafty anniversary here on YouTube, and she had a challenge, and it also runs, it ran, started from March and end, end, end of May, May 31st, has to be postmarked, and I'm, I couldn't get it done until the end. I had so many presentations and projects that I had to get done, so I just crammed this out literally tonight, so, um, but anyway, she was celebrating her anniversary, so check out her channel. Again, is one word, serious but fun. Her name is Tanya. She does a lot of different um, hauls, and she also does crafty stuff, mainly scrapbooking. So um, if you get a chance, check it out. And what her challenge was is that she wanted to combine the two themes. So she wanted something in her wedding colors, burgundy and cream, or in her favorite colors, which she listed, you know, a whole bunch of her favorite colors, like um, um, teal, uh, mint green, salmon, peach, uh, midnight blue, things like that. And then her husband's colors were red, orange, brown, um, different colors like that. So anyway, she mentioned the colors that she liked, but she wanted you to use your own um, materials that you already had on hand. And they like bling, they like uh, metal, they like wood. So different things like that. So what I did was I made a pocket letter and I made a card. She had requested that you could make a six by six or smaller a mini album or alter a, a wooden box or make a card or anything. Excuse me. Huh. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> um, so I literally just cranked this out tonight. So anyway, what I did was I picked a, a masculine, simple masculine card for a husband. Burgundy and cream. You put some um, buttons. It's 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock now. <laughs> so it's 3 in the morning. Um and uh, this was just ran through one of my embossing folders, and I forgot what it was called. Um, but this is, you know, Stripe. I think it is called Stripe. And then I just stamped, and it says Happily Ever After. Put a little punch right there, heart. Um, so that's the card. Made this on the um, Yard Members Keeper punch board. But you don't even need a punch board to do that, but I did. Or you can use a die. So that's going to be for him, for one entry. And this is what I made for her. So this is my little pocket letter that I made. I'm going to go through it and show it for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I did on this side, I just put a little um, bird cage. I put a little tag. Um, just stating my name and my um, YouTube channel, which she knows me anyway. And the date. And what number pocket number, pocket number letter that I've made. Um, on the seam right here I just it had slits already in it so I just cut the paper to fit and hole punched it out so that's paper inside of the um, seam so you can see the slits right there some of the pocket pages don't have that and some do so I started to use that instead of using washi tape um, I just used one eight and a half by eleven and just cut it up by you know three strips and then cut it across so again a two and a half by three and a half so these, um, just some punch outs from the paper, some bling, one of those sayings from the paper, another saying from the paper, put that on foam. This one right here, cut it in half. All the pages were um, just inked around with some vintage photo. And I wish I'd have done it early and, and inked all the in individual items, but I didn't think about this at the last minute to make it a little bit vin vintage because I know she likes vintage. Use some um, EK Success Mason jar punch, put a, and also added some um, burlap go canvas uh, bows, and then I also punched. I had a little punch, and I punched out those hearts in the mason jar, and then I also used another punch to add that one up there as well. Some little doilies in the background, those uh, fried kind of like fabric they have a texture to them They're not fabric but it's like a little plastic kind of feel from the Dollar Tree those um, doilies I just cut it in half and then um, this right here is just some of that little trim I got from Michaels when it used to be the dollar pin um, and I thought that kind of matched this color because I hadn't had a chance to use it yet I know she likes wood so I put that in there it says hi she can take that off and use that herself punch out some butterflies put some bling on it so you use a corner. The little corner pieces came from the paper collection as well. I added some bling. This tag came from the paper collection. I just added the twine and the hole punch. This border came from the paper collection. Added that. That little piece right there came from the paper collection. Paper pieced it up there. Added some uh, flat back pearl bling. 
um, bling. Just added bling everywhere because I know she said she liked bling. Then on the back, added a, uh, a banner that was in the paper collection. Then in this one, I have some wood pieces, more like the transportation wood pieces and a couple of, what do you call the things? Paper clips. Here's two um, little punches I made with my EKX Success Punch and just made some little decorations you can use in some scrapbook pages. I used another EKX Success Punch to make some banners and I didn't decorate them this time like I did in my previous pocket letters, but I decided to let her decorate them the way she wants. She can stamp it. Um, put flowers on it however she wants to decorate it whatever sentiment so it can go with her theme these are two um on my tag for law my hole is not clamped tight i'm gonna have to fix that so um yeah i gotta tighten that up so right here it's two um mason jaws punched out and that glossy accent, not glossy accent, uh, what's the other one? Mod Podge. With a little glitter in it, the tops, as I did <clears throat> on these two as well. So it's two right here. One has the punch out in it, and the one behind it doesn't. And it's two right here as well. And then there's also a little plastic bag, a little goodie bag behind it. Um, and that little goodie bag has twine in it, a whole bunch of punch outs, and some bling that she can use to decorate. Um, the mason jars she can use to decorate the banners or her um, embellishments so however she wants to incorporate the little extra pieces um, the same thing with this tag over here behind it is another baggie of little decorations that she can use on the the um, tags to make the tags decorative to match whatever layout or she use her own stuff but I did put some coordinating papers in there these are some little embellishments that I got from Tuesday morning and this one says uh, with love and then it's a heart with the rings and I put that on the back of this one which says love is a many splendid thing since it was kind of since it was also the anniversary um, resin piece that I made as well as this is a resin piece that I made again that's just a, there was some tape she can take that off and reuse it if she like and the whip bling she can use that one and then behind is just some two pieces of paper cut out with that little heart in it and then I just made some um, Paper clips, the first time I made them, I just made some in the colors that she likes so she can use them on different projects. So that is my um, project share. And I'll kind of show it to you this way. So that's the first row. That's the, sorry about the glare. Second row. And that's the third row. So I, that's my project share. And again, if you get a chance, check out her channel. Serious but fun. Oh, I didn't even tell you what she was giving away. She was she's giving away a sixty dollar gift card, and I'm not sure if she's gonna send it or not. So you might want to check it out just to double check. But you do have to be a subscriber, and she needs a face with that subscription. Um, but a sixty dollar gift card to Walmart to um, Joann's. I think it was Amazon or Tuesday. Not Tuesday morning. Amazon or uh, Michaels. But I know for sure. Um, Walmart and Joann's. I got the third one. But anyway, 60 bucks. So you can't beat that. Whichever one of those uh, three places you choose is where you get your gift card to. So um, check it out. See if it's too late. But if not, still watch your videos and subscribe. She's a sweetie. So I just want to tell you guys thanks. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. And thanks to all my new subbies. Welcome. Thanks. Like my video.